Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in Ray Legend, well, um, I had said recently that I was gonna, uh, go to the sunken ship island, and I did, and, well, I couldn't beat the, the, uh, what is it, I'm not sure which, uh, Kragnavis? Let me see here, is it in here? Uh, there's Kranicle. Uh, well, that one. <laughs> I think it's Kragnavis, but I haven't actually looked. Let me see. Yes, Kragnavis. So, now, I, yeah, I said I couldn't, I couldn't beat it. I, yeah, I just, I did constantly one damage to it myself. But, I just remembered, I have a pander. And those pander are level 57 when you tame them. So, I can go there and beat it with that, is what I thought. So, we're going to go do that. And you will find out what exactly we get from it. I think I already have an idea of what I get, unless it's something random. We'll see. Anyway, just head out here. Might as well water my crops and, and blah blah blah, all that stuff. Actually, I don't have to water my crops. Ha 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 ha! But my wheel field is full of weeds. Yay. I, I really should plant some more stuff. I don't have any... Uh, it's the 19th. I'd have plenty of time to plant something else. Hmm. I don't think I have any actual seeds. Let's check quick. Um, I just have fertilizer. No actual seeds. I wanted to grow an apparel tree. But Magenta's never around. She's avoiding me. Even though I saved her. Okay. So I'll just head into my... Actually, I need to check my... My fish field garden and feed my fish. Just put these two on here. Put that there, put that there. Okay. Let's look at this. Of course, one thing I do know is that. Oh, and of course, there's never a large fish around when I need him. Just, uh... Get my fish into the water here. And what you can do is you can use your big fish, your large fish, to scare all the fish away from your crops. Yes. And I don't know, I mean, for anyone that didn't know that, that's what you do. Makes it a lot easier. Just harvest these. And those are all finished. Okay, I'll leave my barrage there because I'll use that in a little bit. Now I head over here. Feed my fishies. Because, I mean, what would my fishies be? And where would my fishies be if I didn't feed them? Get in here. Might as well, once this finally loads, take my pander with me. Yeah, they still haven't fixed that image. <laughs> so pander, and I might as well take my my uh, draffy here because it's a good healer. Really good healer. <laughs> so, now my pander doesn't like me, which is not right. <laughs> I should feed it. Maybe I should go around feeding them, but maybe I'll do that close to the end of the episode. I don't know. But let me check quick if if Magenta's out here. Because generally she's out here in the center. If she's here. Oh, another event. Wait a second. This is the same event again. This is, it just keeps giving me this event. 
Okay. <laughs> Festive Hall. Pandemonium. Oh, finally? Did I finally get the Pandemonium event quest? That gives lets me go to Pander Island. Or not lets me go to Pander Island. It's for Pander Island. Now are you even here, Magenta? No, of course she's not here. Okay, well, I'd like to go to Pander Island. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see here. I'll head out to the sunken ship, uh, the treasure, or uh, what is it, Shipwreck Island first, because that's the best place to go. And I'm almost level 20. Wait, my fish is in the water already. I don't need to, wait, what? I got a high quality plumus? Yes, good, I wanted that. That'll allow me to evolve uh, Bloop when, I, when it finally gets up in level, which I probably should train. Go put that in storage quick. Must hurry. Time's a wasting. Uh, put that here. Okay. Heading to Shipwreck Island. And then next, I should either either head to Pander Island. Maybe I should just save that for an episode in and of itself. I probably should, because that can actually could be lengthy. Now, where's my barrage? There it is. I should get a Voka Shark, too. Okay, heading over here. Now, like I said in my recent episode, to unlock the treasure chest here you have to defeat all of the Magnus on the island and as far as I see with there's an issue with Pander I just kind of noticed it there's an issue with Pander that if you only attack twice it will get you stuck kind of weird <laughs> what the <laughs> okay he, he leans to the side to pick stuff up But I, I guess, yeah, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, if you get stuck on Pander, though, if you only attack twice and get stuck, just attack again and you'll get out of it. Yeah, my Draco Fiend is hacks. <laughs> he is healing 2,000 HP. I can just stand here and tank. I'll beat the boss, uh, the Kragnavis, later. Draffy, don't attack it. I want to do that one at the end, because... Aha! I raised level. That just looks so weird. <laughs> Laying on its side to pick up items. <laughs> yeah, if you attack twice, it'll get stuck. See, one, two, now I can't move. <laughs> attack once more, now I can move. Yeah, it's it's weird. Otherwise, if you attack all three times, it won't get stuck either. Okay, I think I beat everything other than the Kragnivus. So... Uh, does my pander have any levels? I should look quick. Nope, it doesn't. But that's because it's level 57. Okay, let's go. I do 41 damage, so it takes a little bit. Now, I could right-click, but, you know, it doesn't really do as much as just doing the triple attack. It's a two-hit of... of about 40 something, but it seems like it's regular attacks are faster. So just uh, mash your left button, <laughs> your left mouse button. There we go. And as you can see here, it opened. The little gate here opened. So now 
I ha you have to actually get off your Magnus, though. Head over here, across this little mast bridge, and back here, and there's a treasure chest. And I get the Draco coat. Now, I think this is what I got when I was in here in my testing. But, yeah. It's not as good as what I've got on. Because, I guess... I mean, if you're a mage, it's good, though. If you're planning, you know, if you're, if you're going mute magic attack type, it's good. But besides that, it's... Eh. It's not that good for me. I can put it on, though, actually. Yeah, I'll put it on. Why not? It does look kind of cool. Yeah, I do kind of like it. But I still... Still prefer my attack, attack, uh, armor. But oh well. Okay, so let's head to, I guess, the forest island to continue the story a little bit because I really want to get back up to where I was before the save reset, and so that I can finally get to the desert island because I haven't actually been there yet. I warped there uh, when I was just in my testing save a little bit and it looks like it's pretty cool. No! No! They need to have a nice, nicely defined area where it, where you can throw it. <laughs> No, wrong thing. You know, I just left clicked on that. I could have ate it. It didn't let me eat it. So uh, I'm actually thankful it didn't eat it. Because it would have eat it and eaten it, and I might have been stuck there. The time when you're intending to place your fish in the water, only to eat it instead and think, Oh no, I'm stranded. <laughs> now, frankly, I needed to... Where did I need to go? I needed to get to Duskell Crag, because that's where the rope is. So, frankly, I'll just get on and run. Because it's already four. I have to pick up Coco Melons, though. Once I can get all of the forest island unlocked here, I'll show you some of the uh, treasure chests that I know of on here. Because I know of a few of them. As long as I remember them. <laughs> now, Duskell Crag is up here to the right. Past the bunnies. And more of the bunnies. Um, yeah, that's just a tree over here. I should get another Draco Newt and get a Draco Ogre. And it goes and hides in the bush. Now, actually, with my pander, this thing should be pretty easy. But I think I want to battle it on foot. Because I want these, this... I want my EXP on my life skill of my, of my sword swinging. Of course I'm not a weirdo. I'm just a simple human exploring in the forest. Yes, I want the rope. Jump rope? No, I wasn't planning to play jump rope. But I guess if you want to play jump rope with me for a little bit, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, so <laughs> she took it and was intending to give it back. Uh, but I'd say she actually stole it and was just using it for <laughs> jump roping and not going to give it back. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, she's not supposed to be outside alone, eh? Uh, but then she, I think she tells him anyway on her own. <laughs> okay. Um, now, don't think there's anything else here. Nope. 
So I'll head over and talk to Karen, since I know Karen's name and everybody else. Or is she? Did she tell me? Maybe she told me last time. I can't remember. But I, I know her. I know her name from the my previous playthrough anyway. And then, it's probably on to the dancing. <laughs> yeah, dancing. But I might as well get these while I'm here, except I can't get the silver because it'll take me too long. I forgot to upgrade my pick. Huh, I need to do that. But coal is nice to get. Only one coal though, that's not fair. That it? I think that's it. Okay. Hello, Karen. I'm here with your rope. She had the New Year's event hat on in the overworld here, but then not in the event here. <laughs> or not. Is it? Yeah, I guess it's Lunar New Year. Yeah, I found the rope. Just take the rope, get yourself, and get your bridge finished. There we go. Okay, thanks for unlocking it for me. Uh, I guess, yes. <laughs> How she can build a bridge like that right by herself, I really don't know. Yeah, I, I, I do wonder how they would have gotten over to the village on their own. Maybe they swing from the trees. That's possible. Of course, now, now with Ridge, yeah, it would be really easy. She did not introduce herself last time. <laughs> uh, I'm questing to save the island. But she didn't really listen. Sure. <laughs> I bet she was listening. <laughs> uh, all, she, all she really thinks about is just making things, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she moves on to going to Boca, Boca Town. Yes, Boca Town. <laughs> of course, yeah. Well, we do need a builder there. So I guess, yep. New girl in town. So I'll have to go unlock her. Talk to her when I get back. That'll be another quest. And this is Zan Village. Why they only have three fingers, I don't know. Look very weird. You're one to talk, buddy. You've got three fingers. I rescued her from Crazy Deer Magnus. Uh, she wasn't supposed to be out there, so why did she tell you? She didn't want me to tell you, so she, why did she go back on it? Very sorry for stealing Roper and for leaving Village on her own. Well, she kind of should be. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna have a festival uh, after she... what? <laughs> yeah, I guess I should be guest of honor. I helped build you a bridge. And I saved your daughter. <laughs> yes, I do have a lot of responsibilities. I have the, the world to save. So, Maha. He knows many things. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay and watch the festival. I, I have to anyway because I participate. Okay, so, um, what's it tell me to do now? 
Uh, wrong window. Festive Hall, that's Baffin Island. Pandemonium Tranquil Glove, that's Pander Island. That's Karen. And the Zan Tribe, talk to Elder Maha. So I'll just ha head to talk to Elder Maha. Yeah. Huh. Strange. Why is there a quest to go to Baffin Island when... Hmm, weird. Okay. I'll have to go there. Maybe I'll try to do that in the next episode. But I wanna... Actually, I'd like to go to the Oratun Island in the next episode, because that would be good too. Because that's, that's just like the Shipwreck Island. Uh, no, you haven't seen me before, but I haven't seen you before either. But why are you blue? He's blue! Is there something wrong with him? <laughs> So, my face reminds him of two children he saw one day. Hmm, am I related? Passing through the forest. Siblings. So, he's wondering if it's truly my first time here. Hmm. To my knowledge, it's my first time here, but you never know. He's, he's actually saying that he's old and he's only useful for telling stories. <laughs> I guess I'll listen to his stories, yes. Yes, I want the flower. Held in honor of the forest lady. Who is that? Is that supposed to be Yudi? Which? Okay, so forest lady. So that means Yudi is a girl. Why don't they have her gender on there? In the in the book. Huh, that's weird. But he calls her Forest Lady, so that means she is a girl. Dangerous swamp. They had to fight tooth and claw to survive, eh? Yeah. That usually is hard for the, some of those tribes. Forest lady appeared and sued the land. Huh. It became a gender forest. So, and fertile land. Huh. So that means Yuri really helped them. So I'll, okay, I gotta go to Chief Gobi. Okay. Not really. Always open to stories, except I don't have much time to listen to them. <laughs> okay, um, I wonder what that guy is. Let's go talk to Gobi. Hello, Gobi. Yes, I spoke to Great Elder Maha. Yes, I want to take part in the festival, not just watch. Three offerings from the village. Tied to story of First Zion. Talk to villagers. Villagers give you these offerings. Okay, so yeah, they're important. I I think it kind of just guides you through it a little bit, but... Yeah, coins, dagger, and candle. So... Let's see here. I think it was this guy? Yes. Listen to story two. Been through so much on journey to find home. Soon reach misty part of forest, dark, obscure, cannot see. Through maze of fog, first Zan sees outline of two people. 
Look like shadows. Yeah. But if one of them says <laughs> to attack the one on the right, and the other one says to attack the one on the left, hmm. <laughs> Urgently asking for help. Figures shrank when the candlelight touched them. All was a test of the forest. First Zan established village. Find home. Triumph over darkness. When someone not know things, the mind is dark. Light is knowledge and enlightenment. Ignorance is evil. Lead people to do bad things. So use the candle to light the way in darkness. Okay. Uh, I bet it's this guy next because he's marked on the... Tell a piece of story tied to offering. So first Zan traveled south from way up north, eh? They were trying to find a new home. Scary place. So basically became hungry. Found an injured deer. What is it, a trick? Or deer. That's true. Strength doesn't come from power and violence. Or did I say that right? <laughs> Okay, so dagger is like the first thing, maybe? The other one seems like the last thing. If I don't hurry up, this episode might get kind of long, though. Fight many angry, bloodthirsty creatures. Yeah. Mighty one caught her off guard. So she fell into a deep hole. They, but they couldn't climb out of the hole. For days they were in the hole. So had she had belief in something coming to help her. Then a miracle happened. So Light from the sun reflected on the coins that they were holding, blinding the, a mighty creature walking above, and it fell into the hole with the first sand. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the creature died. <laughs> it didn't actually say that. So how could she use the tusks? Huh. Had to have broken them off. <laughs> Okay. Now let's get back to Gobi here. Get through this and that probably is the end of it. This should be the questionnaire and then the dance, I think. Yeah, I think I understand them even though I actually can't remember them. <laughs> Of strength, self control, and keeping promises. What did they do with the f first offering? Uh, I think it was this.
Yep. So all you really need to remember is that the dagger one is the first. The coins are the second, I believe. And yeah, more opportunities. And the, the, la uh, the what was it? The candle is the last one. Uh, used it to help herself get out of an impossibly deep hole. Yes. Third offering, used it to see two figures fighting in the mist work. Yep, I understood it, I guess. <laughs> Take part in the festival. Okay. Feel the music. Yes, so this is the dance. D W D. A. D. W. D. A. Just gotta follow what he does. And it's just the keys and your wazd on the keyboard. I think these are bugged up there. That's so A D D A S uh, A D. I think there's only three lo three to this as well, I think. Three phases. This might be the last one. So D, W, S, W, D, A, so D, W S W D and I think A yeah there we go that should be it aha Well, I feel the music. <laughs> Two tiny nasings would follow very well. Very tiny, it was so long ago. That is leading up, leading you to believe that it's you. Yeah, don't call me nasing anymore. Call me by my name. <laughs> my name is Zykor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be hanging around sometime. Okay. Now, that didn't use a lot of time. Because time is paused in that. Which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. Because that makes me not know how long I've been going. Ha! Huh. Okay. So... That should have given me the flower. And there's nothing going in the... Uh, in the key items area. So I think that's a bug as well. Let's see if we can get back to Yudi here. And see if... She... 
uh, will let me through. Of course, I gotta probably end this episode off. It's getting kind of long. And Hawk is still here, hunched over. And he won't take my glow herbs, so there's nothing I can really do. Okay, Yudi, I think I'm back. This should be it. Yes. Complete that concoction. So, okay, she just wants me to do her gardening. Gardening, weeding. She could have done it too. <laughs> that gets rid of all of them at least. Now that should open my way to Wilker. And the rest of the island. Heroic return to Volca Town. She, yeah, she wants to see me back in Volca Town. She doesn't want me to be dead, so she's <laughs> telling me to be careful. <laughs> okay. Hermit no more. Okay. Good. And her whole house moves. <laughs> That's just weird. Okay, 9 p.m. I should probably end this off. It's, I think it's getting kind of long. But that is the part, portion of the quest getting up to the forest maze here. Um, this is actually the entrance to the forest maze right here, so it's pretty close. Um, ah, nuts. Oh, hello, hawk. I wasn't going to activate this. Actually, I forgot it was here. Yeah, I am. Yep. And I... It was because of you I healed from my injuries. You didn't even take my glow herb. How can you be healed from your Im injuries from me? I didn't even give you anything. <laughs> I am the one and only Zykor. Look a bit strange. Who's to say you aren't the one that looks strange? What? It's right next door. <laughs> yeah, apparently you've never been off the island. <laughs> Attacking the guardian. Yeah. I didn't do anything for you. But I guess if you want to give me the credit, I'll take it. Yep, I know. You gotta get through that forest maze. I'll do a whole episode on that. Yeah, nature will test your memory and resolve here in the form of a, wi a winding maze. It's actually not that much of a maze. A little bit, but... Yeah, I can figure out the rest. <laughs> he hangs around the island. Nature is important to me too, actually. Okay. That would be nice if you paid me back. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll teleport back to my farm. Maybe try to feed my Magnus. I'm not even sure if I need to feed my Magnus. <laughs> I don't know if they take my food. But, it's getting late. So, 
I guess if I'm just going to end this off here. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I'm just going to feed my uh, Magnus here and call that it. So, I guess if you like this episode, hit that like button. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell icon. Uh, leave a comment, share it, and all that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.